coming up. All this you see, and every man of God you see, it is not because they pray more than you, or they fast more than you. This is nothing but grace coupled with understanding and maturity. I'm getting big, I'm eating. While this you're fasting, but how come when we stand here, I begin to speak things of deeper things, yet you cannot see things of deeper things? How come when you raise your hand, nothing happens? But when I raise my hand, God comes down. Every single time, you remember what you did two years ago. How can God use me? My friend, if some of us begin to tell you what we did two years ago, you run away. But we are here. Sister so is wearing a tight skirt. Mm, it's not good for church. It's not good for what? You are not even good for church. Ah, Who is yeah, talking yeah, about you? Yeah, yeah. This is grace, my brother. When I'm doing this, when I'm moving around like this, this is grace. There is no secret here. There is no juju here. This is grace. A handsome man like me to marry a beautiful woman like her. You are watching Jesus Generation International Ministries with Prophet Ed Branson, founder and visionary of the ministry. Get ready to be empowered, transformed, and equipped for the next level as you hear God's opinion about your life. Jesus Generation, preaching the word, changing lives because of his love. Hebrews chapter number 6 says something amazing. It says, so let us stop going over the basic teachings. Are you there? So let us stop going over the basic teachings about Christ again and again. Let us go instead and become mature in our understanding. I don't think you are hearing what I'm telling you right now. It says, let us not go over and over again over the basic teachings of Christ Jesus again and again. Let us go instead into becoming mature in our understanding. Surely, we don't need to start again with the fundamental importance of repenting from evil deeds and placing our faith in God. You don't need further instructions about baptism the laying of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and the eternal judgment. And so, God, will, God willing, we will move to further understanding. Uh, watch this. This way is very important. Verse number four. For it is impossible to bring to repentance those who were once enlightened. Those who have experienced the good things of heaven and shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the power of the age to come. Did you hear, what, did you hear that one here? He says, I don't need to come here as prophet and tell you that Jesus is Lord. You know it. I don't need to come here and tell you that give your life to Christ. You know it. I don't need to tell you the importance of you being baptized. You know you must be baptized. I don't need to tell you to stop sinning. You know you need to stop sinning. He says, how do you identify a mature person in Christ? He moves better, further ahead. Am I speaking to somebody here? The problem right now we're having right now in the church is that people are coming, are coming to church, coming in the church. Sister so and so is sinning. Brother so and so is doing this. John B is doing this and that. We are not doing altar call. We are not doing baptism. Why are we not focusing? Why are we not focusing on Sabbath? Why are we not doing this? And the Bible is saying we now need to move further ahead. Is a level of understanding of deeper things. 
He says the people who get to this dimension, verse number six, the people who begin to understand what I'm trying to tell you today in JG, about moving further, he says these are the people who have tasted of the power of the age to come. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? When you get to a level where you know that no matter how much I try to be good, I'll never be good. You will never be good. Look at you today. You even did something small, small. Before you came here. Even while you were here, you did small, small. While you were doing this preaching here, you did small, small. You looked at my wife and you said, if only, amen, but that's not the issue. You see, if, if you saw that gentleman that didn't laugh, amen. Praise the Lord. You looked at my wife and you said, if only. When I walked on stage, the lady said, oh my Jesus. Ah, ah. Already you have disqualified yourself. But the Bible says we can no longer continue to dwell on this because you already know. Because by law, we are redeemed by grace. Not by the works of our hands. Are you hearing me? Yes. Heaven is going to be full of people because of grace. Not because of the works of people. Ah. Yes. Sir. Now, when you understand what I'm telling you, the Bible is saying, now move ahead. Stop coming and being judgmental. Always looking for faults, like the Pharisees. How come we don't do this? How come they do that? How come they do this? How come they don't preach this? How come they don't do this? He says, now move further. Only if you've got this grace of maturity, then you'll be able to move further. I'm talking to myself. Gee. Watch this. Can I just do small, small? I don't want to waste much of your time. I want to do it something big, big. Look, it says now, when you understand what I'm telling you right now, it says then you'll be able to partake of the power, the dunamis that is in the age to come. That's a secret of prophecy right there. Secret of a man receiving power in this age. When we men, when we meet here and we begin to speak, I begin to speak oracles and I begin, God begin to do those, these things and everything else. And everyone is holding their hands, wow, how come God is doing this? How come I'm not doing this? Maybe you need to stop judging yourself. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. Can I just do small, small? Big, big, Papa. I think, I think I should preach to the choir today. Because the people there, they are too calm. Look, so. Jesus. How come God is not using me in this season? How come God is not talking to me in this season? How come God is not using me for miracles in this season? It is because every single time you have a judgmental mentality against yourself. You have a criteria of who God can use. You have a category. If God must use me, I must be holy. My friend, no matter how much you try, you will never be holy. Ah, I must pray seven times a day. Then God will begin to speak to me. My friend, let me tell you, some of us will pray less. No, I think I must fast 365 days a year then afterwards then God is going to speak 
While you are fasting, I'm busy eating chicken in. My friend, what are you doing? I'm fasting. God is going to speak. speak. I'm going to be used as a mighty man of God after this fast. All right. Do you need some food? No, I'm fasting. I'll come back every day of 365 days of your fast with different types of foods. You even be commenting me, prophet, you are getting big. Right now, people are looking at me and say, Papa, you are getting big. It's true. Then clap hands for my wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay! Watch this. I'm getting big. I'm eating. While you are fasting. But how come when we stand here, I begin to speak things of deeper things, yet you cannot see things of deeper things? How come when you raise your hand, Nothing happens. But when I raise my hand, God comes down. But you are fasting. But you are praying. The time you are fasting and praying, I was busy eating, watching Tom and Jerry. Uh, do I have somebody here? Do I, do I have 15 people here? Do I have somebody here who's, who's ready to understand? Yes! How come? How come? With the level you pray, with the level you fast, you wake up six times a night, but you don't even see a single fly. You speak tongues that can shake the foundations of this church. There are some people when they begin to speak tongues. You, you, you stand and be like, my Jesus. I think this is the author of the tongues of heaven, this guy here. After Karo, five hours. What seest thou, man of God? Nothing. Can I challenge you today? Yes, sir. All this you see, and every man of God you see, it is not because they pray more than you, or they fast more than you. This is nothing but grace coupled with understanding and maturity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, the moment you sit there and you understand that it is not by your strength, but it is by his might. Yeah. How come God is not using me? How come? Because every single time you remember what you did two years ago. How can God use me? My friend, if some of us begin to tell you what we did two years ago, you run away. But we are here. This is grace, my brother. Are you understanding what I'm telling you right now? Yes. This is nothing but pure grace. I, I told you I should be preaching to the choir today. Yes! Jesus! There is a wisdom. There is a power associated with moving on. With maturity. He says you begin to partake of the power of the age to come. You begin to function in the realm to come in this season. Yes. So when I stand here and I say, can I prophesy? I'm already functioning in the power of heaven. While you are yes. Prophesy. Prophesy. Jesus.
Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power. Are you understanding? Son, are you understanding what I'm saying? Look, what I'm trying to tell you is simple. You can function in the power of the age to come. The power of the age of New Jerusalem. The power of eternal life. What is in this season? Listen. There is a man who began to function in the eternal life in this season. That he got so powerful that God had to remind him to die. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. God had to go to him and say, Moshe. And he said, yes. He says, go to Mount Nebo. And he says, okay, to do what? And he says, die. Look, you are old. The Bible says, this man at 90, his eyesight was not diminished. No, his strength did not leave him. Moshe here, Moses, you say in boat here, 100 meter marathon, you send both to be left behind with a 90 year old man. The man had begun to function in eternal life in this season. That God came and said, Son, son, no, this what you're doing is of the power to come, of the age to come, not in this season. Please go and die. He says, Okay, all right, all right, I'll go and I'll die. Am I speaking to somebody here? God is looking for a few people here today. God is... Uh, okay. Yes. God is looking for you, son. Because these ones are not receiving. God is looking for you. Yes. Look. You can begin to function in the power of the age to come. Where you choose when to die. Amen. Not because your grandmother says you must die. Yes. You choose when to die. Not because somebody desires you to die. Yes. You choose how much money comes to you. Yes. Not because what your boss determines comes to you. Yes. You begin to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Of the age to come. The moment I hold this microphone, I move from this realm, which means this realm begin ends begin, ceases to cease ceases to exist. The moment I stand here, and I begin to function in the power of the age to come. This is what we do cannot be done by somebody who is functioning in this age that is existing. You need to exist in an age to come. And the only way you do that is to understand that there is grace and maturity. Yes. Ay, 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 ay. Too much. I saw something on TV one of these days. I saw an economic, an economic analyst on TV, he was busy analyzing the economy of Zimbabwe. He was busy standing around, you know, talking. So the economy will take a downward spiral. But we have to understand, and this man has got a PhD, Masters in Economics. So he's giving advice, and he's giving good advice. Right? He's giving good advice. The economy must turn around. The things must happen here. Something must be happening. Something must be moving. If we do this, this thing will happen. And I'm looking at this and I said, how come such an economist can be called an economist, a person who understands money and remains broke? He is an economist. I looked at his time. I said, my goodness, I think I threw, threw out this thing five years ago. I looked at the shirt he was wearing. 
the collar of his shirt he was wearing, the collar, the collar. I said, my Jesus, did this man just go and look for some rags and made in a makeshift collar? But this man is an economist who understands money, but is broke. So you can be in a church that God is speaking about you receiving power of the age to come. Yes. And you can remain in this age. Yes. yes. Ah. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Yes. You can be in this church where power and miracles are happening, but because you refuse to mature. Sister so and is wearing a tight skirt. Mm, it's not good for church. It's not good for what? You are not even good for church. Ah, Who is yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Nah, she, she, she will never get married. My sister, you also will never get married. Enter. You are wearing. Even my mother ceased wearing it in 1982. You are wearing it now. 2017. You are still stuck in the age of 1982 in 2017. Ah, too much. Mature. Mature. All this you are saying here is grace coupled with maturity. We understand the workings of grace. Undeserved favor. That is coupled with maturity. I have matured to understand that the man who God said is a man after my own heart was an adulterer. By your standards and by the people's standards, David would never be the, the son of man. Am I talking to somebody here? Amen. By the standards of man, right now in this season here, if David was David in today and we somebody says son of David, we will be arrested. You'll be on the front line headlines. You see this man, he is doing these things. We all know. How come these people are saying is son of David? The same man who struck the rock when God says, ask the rock to give you water. And it will give you water. Je God was talking about Jesus as the rock of life. And says, ask of it and it will give you water, the living water. He says, anyone who drinks of me will not thirst again. But the same man, instead of asking of the rock for water, he struck Jesus. Imagine. He struck Jesus. When he struck Jesus, that should have disqualified him from heaven. But on the transfiguration, he is seen coming down from heaven. My brother, this is grace. Yes. Sir. With maturity. Grace. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Grace. Coupled with maturity. We are already functioning in a world to come. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm telling you right now? Okay, let me go back to the choir. Okay, excuse me. Can I go back to the choir? This is grace. People will look at you and say, how come you're driving a Range Rover? When you don't pray as much, he say, I understand that this is grace. I couple it with maturity. Yes. Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes. How come you are going to get married? You are beautiful. You put three, you send, spend three hours on the mirror putting makeup. You are not married. You write your eyebrows like the sign of Nike. 
Ay, 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 ay. Inter. But as it is, my brother, as it is, my sister, no one takes a look at you. Even the Chinese have tried to assist you, but it failed. You tried makeup, it didn't work. The Chinese came to you and says, let us assist you. They created fake booms and bums and hips. It says, well, there may be someone who will look at you. Ay, 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 enter. Beware of imposters out to get you on social media. Do not be duped. There are some people who are masquerading as Prophet Ed Branson on social media to take advantage on unsuspecting people to rob them of their money. Remember, for the enemy came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please note, Prophet Ed Branson does not extend need for donations on social media. If anything does arise, it is posted on our website and official Facebook page. Please take note of the following addresses. Our website, www.jgministries.org. Our Facebook page, Prophet Ed Branson. Our YouTube channel, Prophet Ed. For direct contact, please contact plus 263-779-779. 608-921 or plus 263-774-665745 or plus 263-785-204-912. Remember, we are living in perilous times and we need to be aware. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Am I, am I preaching it? Yes, sir. Am I saying it small, small? Yes, sir. Big, big papa. Look at, look at it and say, my God. When I prayed that there would be a 24-hour miracle, I did not mean this one. My sister. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Too much. Oh, made in China. Okay. You tried it, but nothing works. Here comes Okoro from Kwachimboya Sotoka. Three months you are attending the wedding. She does not. You, look, the funny thing is this. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm going to offend some people here. Enter, Baba, enter. I observe something. I observe something. I want to pray against it. That the people who do your makeup at your wedding, who do your dress fitting at your wedding, are not married. They are teaching, they are making you look beautiful. But they are not married. They are telling you how to dress. He says, when you dress, when he sees you, he immediately is gonna fall in love with you. But like really, and sure enough, immediately when he looks at you, say, My God. maturity yes am i speaking to somebody here yes let me prophesy to somebody and anybody here prophesy 
if you are under the sound of my voice yes by fire by power yes yes i prophesy yes your grace yes is going to increase with maturity i receive receive it in the name of jesus i receive receive it in the name of jesus i receive grace yes sir top with maturity Am I talking to somebody here? God gives you grace to get married. God gives you grace to get married. But it takes maturity for you to be married. God gives you grace to be wealthy. But it takes maturity for you to be actually wealthy. Am I talking to you? Yes. God gives you grace to be a man of God. Yes. But it takes maturity for you to be an actual man of God. Yes. Yes. Am, I, am I talking to you? Yes. Am, I, am I speaking to somebody here? Yes. Grace. Coupled with maturity. When I'm doing this, when I'm moving around like this, this is grace. There is no secret here. There is no juju here. This is grace. This is grace. I was telling my wife this morning, I said, you see, on this altar, we have a prayer altar in the house. I said, I go there for five seconds, on an altar, five seconds. And I stand up and I go, watch cartoons. You know, I love cartoons. I love them. Here comes the man of God, grown and big, and comes and says, man of God, you are a man of God. You are not supposed to be watching this. I said, sir. He said, yes. I said, look behind you. Look, what do you see? He says, there's a portrait of you. I said, no, you would, that's why you can never tell me to stop watching cartoons. All you saw was the portrait of me behind you. You did not see my angel standing right behind you. And you are telling me to stop because it's not of man of God. How can I listen to you when yourself cannot see? I've always found out that the people who criticize the power and the movement of God are the people who don't have it. You ever notice it? Yes. That the people who say that this is a fake man of God, he is using juju power and evil power. He himself does not even have one. Yeah. The people who say, don't go to that church. Yeah. Why? No, they are not of God. They themselves cannot even move in the one power of God. I saw, okay, what did you see? What did you see? God spoke to me. If we say God spoke to you, and I tell you boldly right now, stand. And look towards the heavens and you say, God, you told me. Say it. You see a person saying, no, you must understand it. Never challenge an authority of a man of God. Uh -huh. But I thought you said, God said. We, when we stand and we come to you, we say, God told me. Undisputed. Bring God here. I'll tell you that he did tell me to tell you. The ability to understand that everything that we have is grace. The fact that you came to church is grace. The fact that you are alive here is grace. Yes. The fact that you are looking as nice as you are is grace. Yes. But for you to go to the other level, it now takes you maturity. There is a power 
that has been made available in this age. But this power does not belong to this age. It belongs to the age to come. But only the true sons of God are able to partake of that power of the age to come and to bring it in this age we are now. Yes. I prayed a few days ago for somebody who was in Dubai. I said, I'm going to write my name on the window. And I wrote my name on the window. I was here in Zimbabwe. I wrote my name in the air. I wrote my name. I said, Specialists. Then I said, I'm going to put my arm. I put my arm. And I said, look behind your window. And she looked behind. She saw my, my hand on the window. And then she saw my name written on the window. Now everybody is saying, wow, that is God. Here comes somebody says, no, that is Mormon power. <laughs> I said, no problem. Since if it's Mormon power... And you carry God power. Do better. It says at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, all other knees will bow down. Make what I did to bow down. Rub right now. Say I rub with the power of God. And let's see if your power will rub it. Too much. My friend, you will spend six years praying for it to be rubbed off. You know, the woman sent a message. She, says, she said, up to now, the, the end and the end writing is still there. It says the maid tried to clean it off. The hand will not disappear. It's stuck. It says, now we come to the house. Our friends, we come to the house. We do prayer meetings in the house. Do prayer meetings in the house. When we finish, I tell people, go to my bedroom. If you are sick, just go, touch that arm. It says people are touching and people are walking, beginning to move. What are we talking about? Grace, coupled with maturity. I prophesy to somebody here today. Yes. You are going to start functioning in a grace to come. I receive. Ah. Yay. Grace, coupled with maturity. People are coming to give money here. Put the money on the altar, praying and everything else. And I'm busy talking to the Holy Spirit, Lord, so give me grace, I'm about to move in. As everyone is coming, the Holy Spirit is standing there, I'm standing here. My angel flies in and stands here with me. I'm moving like this, I'm saying, give me grace, I'm about to do your work. The angel comes and says, look at this man. I said, yes. He says, I said, ah, really? He said, yes. I said, ah, ha, ha. He says, look at that woman. I said, what? He said, I said, ah, really? I said, look at this one. I said, ah, again. He said, ah. I said, really? But all you saw were people coming to give money. At the same time, people are coming to give money. At the same time, the Holy Spirit is speaking. I am tired, as a man of God, of coming to preach to people who don't want to grow. People whose maturity, they don't want to develop it. They are 40 years old in body and flesh, but their brain level is for two years old. man of God came to me and says, you need to remove your hairstyle. I said, why? He says, it's not of a man of God. I said, you need to remove your face. He said, why? I said, it's not of a man of God. <laughs> Samson had dread. You're coming to tell me, say, you should shave your, make, you should look like a man of God. You want me to look like you? I want to look like me. Not you. And I thank God I don't look like you. Because I would have a heart attack every morning when I look in the mirror. Trying to brush my teeth like, oh, hey, shit.
<laughs> you need power. Tell your neighbor, say power. power. Of the age to come. In this age. Power. power. Of the age to come. In this age. Somebody comes to you and says, look, nothing can kill you. You need to get to a dimension where you come and says, nothing can kill you. You say, I carry power. So right now, immediately you have finished telling me that nothing can kill me. I'm going to look for this nothing and kill it. You didn't get it. If nothing can kill me, I'm going to look for nothing and kill it before it kills me. I must be in control of my life. Not my grandmother. You, you know, here in Africa, here in Africa, we've got some serious witches. We've got some crazy people. Who knows they are juju craft? Tell you, you die and you die. And you are coming to church to be a class monitor. Why is it you don't preach Jesus more? You only preach of money. Why do you go to work every Monday? Why don't you stay home? You are looking for money. If money did not matter to you, stay home. I must survive. So we preach it so that people may survive. <laughs> Grace coupled with maturity. Grace coupled with maturity. I want to declare and decree in the lives of somebody here today. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Don't clip, play. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. Of grace. Who is ready to receive. All this we, we move in, all this we do, all this we do is grace. And I want to share that grace with you. Am I speaking to you? I want to share this grace with five people here. I want to share this grace with 11, 10 people here. I receive. Ah. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I I receive. I prophesy. Yes. Today. Yes. Get a new level of grace. Yes. Yes. Today. Yes. You must mature. Yes. Jesus. Grace. With maturity. You look at a person you don't know. And the grace that has got maturity. So you want to try to tell me something here, that a person who moves in the things of God is mature. And a person who does not is immature. So your pastor, okay, okay, praise the Lord, what we are talking about. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. The reason why I don't even respond to people who fight me or who speak against me it's because I look at them. They don't carry power. They are, they are not worth my time. Jesus was attacked by Pharisees. While they were speaking about him, he was doing miracles. And says, this is the power of Bezobo. And Jesus said, if they do it to me, they shall do it unto you. So anyone who speaks against me and says, I use Juju power, 
Thank you, Jesus Christ. My testimony has been confirmed. I am a man of God. Are you hearing me? Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? Yes. Are you feeling what I'm feeling right now? Yes. The power of the age to come. I receive. Speak against me. Get your level. He says, Speak against me. But when I respond, your tongue will cleave to the roof of your mouth. Am I speaking to somebody here? Power. Hey. Age to come. There will be no sickness in the age to come. There will be no pain in the age to come. There will be no death in the age to come. There will be no poverty in the age to come. And in this age, in this age, we are functioning. In today, we are functioning. We have become the superhumans of these humans. Mutants. Eh? That, 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 that professor from America that called me a mutant is <laughs> on YouTube right now. He says, eh, the, a brand, Berenjo, uh, Bushiri, all this, they are the next generation of mutants. The mutation of the human gene. For them just to acknowledge that look my friend, this is nothing but grace. I use the same brain you use. I eat the same food. Many of them you even eat better. There is no mutancy here. It's just grace. Coupled with maturity. This is maturity. This is what maturity looks like. How do you see maturity? When a person comes to church, how they dress is mature. Maturity is not putting on a long dress. Maturity is putting on a dress with maturity. Yeah. I'm not speaking to somebody here. We had, we had, we had a, uh, an, an aunt of ours. She passed on. Uh, our aunt was maybe, maybe 40, some, something like that at the time. And Tetanens, uh, we say, <clears throat> praise the Lord. She was old. And we always say that life begins at 40. And when we see gray hair, we say it's a sign of wisdom. Her entire head was gray. But with that old age, she was a bower ranger. Forty year old in the club. Yay! Every growth point she was known. <laughs> then I understood something. Maturity is not in gray hair. You need grace to mature. You need grace to mature. The way you dress does not tell me you are mature. The way you speak does not tell me you are mature. I look at the grace on your life. Grace. I, there was this guy who grew up. His name was called Emmanuel. And we all know that Emmanuel means God with us. And Jesus said the name was Emmanuel. But this guy was not Emmanuel. 
He did opposite of Emmanuel. There are people whose names are called Grace. You look at them and you say, my God, is this grace or disgrace? People who are called faith. But at the sign of a shaking, they're the first people to release them. No, God has left me. But your name is faith. God, are, are you an idiot? You need grace coupled with maturity. Stand up wherever you are. Are you ready? Can I do small, small? Yes. I want you to pray. I want to lay hands on somebody here today. Pray. And say, Lord Jesus, today, today give me the grace. Give me the grace. To mature. To mature. God has already given you the power you need mm. to be wealthy, to be successful, to be a great man of God. But your lack of maturity is what is stopping you. I had one son of mine. I'm sure you saw him here. He came and says, Papa, I want to be your son. I said, that's not a problem. You will be my son. But the first thing that you need to change is your suits. You cannot come here wearing a yellow, shiny sofa suit. Yellow. And white shoes. Blue shirt. Pam on the head. Rainbow nation. I said, you need maturity. You were told by your grandfather that that's how a man of God is supposed to dress. But a man of God does not need a dress coat. Elijah wore leopard skin. While he said that people were wearing cloth, he was wearing animal skin. While he's they are wearing dresses, you in your skinny jean, God will be using you. This is nothing but grace. At least they are dressing in what they are dressing. God will be using you. Because God is looking at grace. Yes. God is looking at grace. This is grace. A handsome man like me. To marry a beautiful woman like her. Let me, let me tell you something small, small about my wife. When I, when, I, when I say my wife is a supermodel, I'm not saying it in just saying it in saying it. My wife was an actual supermodel. Okay. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody here? My, when I'm talking about supermodel, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about my wife was an actual super model you know you you do photo shoots with an iphone camera he says we're gonna edit them you think they're gonna take them to your computer he does editing everything on the phone he says i'm a model you're not a model <laughs> this woman when she is doing a thing there'll be like a hundred people one holding lights camera this coming coming say make up make up make up at the same time, <laughs> she's traveling all over the world doing the, the uh, supermodel things. And everybody's saying, wow. Men are saying, I want this woman. I want to marry this model. In a field in Mondoro was a husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is grace, brother. Yeah. This is grace, my sister. Yeah. This is grace. Yes. Are you 
you hearing what I'm telling you? You need grace to be relevant. You need grace to attract. Yes. You need grace yes. to be useful. Yes, sir. I'm looking. I'm looking at the timeline. I'm looking at the timeline of my... I'm like... I'm looking at my wife. I'm like... This... She was in Hawaii. On holiday in Hawaii. Okay. That was the time... Mama was telling me... Go and look for the cows that are lost. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's look at some. Okay. This one, she was in New York doing a fashion shoot. Alright, alright, let's may, may, maybe it's just coincidence. Ah, this was the this was the time this woman was counting millions of dollars. I'm asking mom, can I borrow a dollar? Then I look at this time now. I am here. And I'm standing next to the woman. I said, Grace. Yes. May son charis. What can you say? Grace. Grace. Who calls a person who doesn't even have a grade seven certificate to be your boss? And you with the masters to be a servant of that boss. It's called grace. You are more qualified and more educated than your boss right now. But you still call him boss. It's grace. You don't need an education. I'm not saying you don't need education, but I'm not telling you that education is not what you require. If education lacks grace, my brother, I know people who are more educated than you who are not working right now. And I know people. One of my friends, one of my friends, one of my friends is a big millionaire in Zimbabwe. You know what he told me? He said, when I started making money, <laughs> when I started making money, he said, I had to hire my maid to teach me English. My maid, I said, I'll give you extra money, teach me English. So that I can do business meeting with English people. And I said, Grace. Grace. <laughs> to get in your garage and look in your garage and you see all the cars that are in the garage. Grace. Mm -hmm. You must speak to somebody here. To look in your bank account in this season and see something in there. Grace coupled with maturity. Can I pray for you? When I prophesy, I am functioning. I'm giving you highlights of what the age to come will look like. When you, you see, in the realms of the spirit, you don't need to ask somebody, how are you? All you need to do is just to look at a person and you get everything. In the spirit, when I'm saying that, and then I looked at the angel, and the angel began to speak to me. They don't speak with their mouths. They speak with their thoughts. They just look at you, and then they send their thoughts in your head, and you understand. When you think, they go inside your brain and say, okay. That's what the Bible says, and Jesus hid their thoughts. Yes. He hid their thoughts, what they were thinking, he hid it. speaking to somebody here. So these are highlights of the age to come in this age. That you just need to look at a person and know that this must be June or July. Someone was born there. It's you. You just sense it. 